everyone, and welcome to the Tonight Today Show. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be our first ever episode. We've got some great stories to talk about. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, great. Another YouTube drama slash YouTube news channels. Don't we have enough of those? Well, I agree with you, and that's actually the reason that I started this channel, is because I felt like you guys needed a more entertaining, more unbiased news source. I mean, considering the fact that your biggest two news sources is literally, and this is scientifically proven, a literal gnome and a man who sexually identifies as Platt. And, and I cannot make this up. I, no, it's true. It's true. That's what he put down on his SATs. And uh, yeah, I just felt like you deserved a better news site, a, a, a better news channel, if you will. And uh, just think of me as a burnt Stephen Colbert or a, a, really, do, a really well done Trevor Noah. Yeah, th that'll help. <laughs> that'll help you get acquainted with me. But regardless, our first story today is going to be talking about, uh, you know what? It's my first video. A lot of people are going to wonder, wow. Now, it's your first video. Are you going to be a sellout and talk about Jake Paul for the views and the clicks? And I'm offended by this. I, I truly am because, of course, I'm going to talk about Jake Paul. I need the money and the clicks. I mean, I, I've got, to, I've got to put food on the table here. You see how empty this desk is? I could have a McDouble on here or something. I, I don't really know. But regardless, it is reported that Jake Paul has paid Gucci Mane over $250,000 just appear on Jake Paul's new music middle, Handy of Handlebars, uh, new video, I'm sorry, Handlebars. And uh, chances are that if you are listening to me right now, you did not hear this and your ears are not bleeding because that song is horrible. Or so I've heard because I've never, I've never actually listened to it. But regardless, that, Jake, I'm Gucci Mane, what are you doing? Why would you be on Jake Paul's videos for $250,000 on behalf of the black community and, more important, the Atlanta citizens, we expect you, uh, your papers better be on our desk by Monday. That's all I'm saying. Because you, we, you're banned. You're gone. We can't, uh, you, a video with Jake Paul? You can't, you can't come back here because, you know, you don't understand. Like, you can't come back here because it's done. We don't accept you anymore. We don't know who you are. Okay? When you go, you you're, you're Gucci man now. You're not Gucci Mane. You're not you know you don't have that street cred anymore. You have that Disney Channel street cred. You got that yellow brick road cred. It's it's, it's not gonna work here. But you know what? I kind of understand why Gucci Mane did that because that's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Like, do you know what you can do with two hundred fifty thousand dollars? Do you? Because I've never I've never had this amount of money. This is what I, I've dreamed about it. I've never had this amount of money. Like, this is, I hope so. One day, one day, I will make this amount of money uh, after I die and all the money that I've accumulated over my life has finally reached that number. But I understand Gucci Mane doing this. It's $250,000. It's not something that you're going to want to turn down. My question is, why would Jake Paul do this? Does he not know Gucci Mane is a legit killer? Like, this man has actually killed a man in his life. And Jake Paul's kind of like... This Disney star who proclaims that he is family friendly and for the kids. And I just don't see why you would like, why would you get a killer for this? Because, I mean, I, like this is how I imagine how this song went. Like, listen to this, okay? Hey, my name's Jake Paul and I'm rapping with the killer. Don't watch my videos because half of it is filler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. See, you, you could have paid me that amount of money. I would have done it for two hundred and fifty dollars. I would have done it for twenty-five. I would have done it for two dollars and I would have done it for free. Jake, if you need somebody to do this, I will do it for you. I will take the free publicity. I mean, because I want to do it with the great and powerful Jake Paul, man. If you ever, ever need to, if you need a rapper, man, call me. My number is six seven eight five seven five. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, our second story today is going to be a little bit more serious. And this is going to be talking about the FaZe Banks and Alyssa Violet stuff. And uh, if, I mean, if you don't know about this, let me go ahead and fill you in. 
Basically, FaZe Banks and Alyssa Violet went to this bar in Cleveland, Ohio, of all places, Jesus Christ. But, however, they went to this place called the Barley House in Cleveland, Ohio, where FaZe Banks said that a bartender, or somebody who works there, I don't remember who it was, but he said that one of the people that worked there, the employers of the Barley House, grabbed Alyssa's ass. He said that she did that and choked him out at the same time. Now, Barley House, of course, refutes these claims, saying that it is not at all how it happened and that all the employees responded exactly how they were supposed to. Now, this was followed up by actual video evidence from Barley House showing what had happened. And you can see where uh, Alyssa Violet is shining the light in the face of a woman who proceeds to slap that uh, phone out of her hand. And when Alyssa Violet looks like she's going in to do more uh, or do whatever she was doing before, which I'm guessing is filming her to uh, show uh, her viewers and her followers, you know, who the woman was, uh, the man of who I assume to be the boyfriend of whoever that girl was proceeds to push uh, Alyssa Violet out of the way, which of course instigates FaZe Banks to come in and take a little bit violent measures, which you can go overboard. You can say he went overboard or you can say he's not, but he, what, at the time, he was assuming he was protecting his girlfriend. Now, I'm trying to see this from both sides because this is actually a very touchy topic. On one hand, uh, before this video was out, it was a question of who was... who. It was, it was two sides blaming each other, uh, where the Barley House was saying that uh, FaZe Banks' claims were completely false and that they weren't true and saying that all the employees were doing this according to plan. Everything that they did was perfectly fine. I say according to plan like they're freaking supervillains or something, but <laughs> they what they did was they followed all guidelines and rules in case, you know, in case something like this has happened. They said they did it flawlessly, which is a very, you know, that's a lot to say. Now we've seen uh Phase Banks his hand uh he which he says after he was choked out by one of the uh what do you call those guys that uh, that protect the door? The gatekeepers? The bouncers. Bouncers. But he said he was choked out by one of the bouncers, and uh, we saw that he broke his, his hand or his, one of his fingers, which at the time I just assumed was he was just taking part in the most violent thumb wrestling match of all time. But we see that FaZe Banks is saying that it was on the Barley House and the employees of the Barley House. Now... We have got now that we have had more evidence, we can see what what has happened. Now we see that Alyssa Violet and uh, Face Banks. Face Banks seems to be in some type of hallway where he's doing this. I don't know if he's getting ready to fight Popeye or something, or if he's just dancing like this. Don't really know. Don't really care. Either way, it needs to stop. If that's his form, he needs to work on it. If this is how he dances, he should never dance again. Now, the thing is, we, we've seen this video, but we don't, haven't seen the full video yet. We don't see full footage. And that's really what we're waiting on is to see what exactly happened through this entire time. Because we've seen snippets, which can be edited to make it look like things were better than it were. Now, however, we do see FaZe Banks acting violent. Now, I understand. If somebody pushed my girlfriend, I would act accordingly as well. However, he did kind of, and I love FaZe Banks, don't get me wrong, but he did kind of cheap shot the guy in the back of the head when he didn't look like he was actually going after Alyssa. He looked more like he was just trying to get her, uh, he was trying to get Alyssa off of his girlfriend, which resulted in him getting punched repeatedly in the head by FaZe Banks, which, you know, isn't an even trade-off. You know, you, you can't slightly move somebody over and then get pummeled in the back of the head as a result that's not how that's not how karma works I, that's not how karma works right I, I didn't think so no this is this is a crazy situation because this could either be on two sides this could either be a company who is covering up horrible misconduct by their employees by cutting and editing snippets of surveillance footage or this could be FaZe Banks and Alyssa Violet doing some sort of publicity stunt. Or they just had too many drinks and they were acting wild and crazy and it got over their heads and they don't even remember what had happened. Because FaZe Banks did say he had about two or three drinks. And I don't know if he's a lightweight or not, but if regardless, he was under the influence, which no matter who you are, it does influence your mindset a little bit. So... Once again, this is a tale of two cities, and God, one of these cities is Cleveland of all places. It's disgusting, and uh, no offense if any of you guys are watching from Cleveland. Just know that your NFL team sucks. But regardless, like, like I said, this is a tale of two cities. This is one person saying that one this guy did it. It's another person saying that this guy did it. We don't really know who is right in the situation quite yet. I trust Faze Mix. I believe he's a trustworthy person. 
And but once again, I I don't know anything about I don't know the people who run this bar, but I have read that previously, even prior to this Phase Banks engagement, that people who have been giving Yelp reviews have constantly stated how horrible the customer service is there with employees treating them unfairly or in mean ways and being, well, dicks. And so we don't know if this is just a reoccurring thing that constantly happens at the Barley House, which is, you know, which gives more indication on why they probably just edited it together to make the uh, Faze Banks and Alyssa Violet look worse, which is in- uh, it's just possible but for now I want to look it on both sides of things until we get further information because it could truly go either way because we don't really know right now but anyway talking to our third story we're talking about Wentler versus KSI yes the second most anticipated fight behind of course President Trump versus LeVar Ball in a steel cage I mean come on we are all waiting for this at Wrestlemania you are you are and you are you know you are who doesn't want to see that can't wait till Trump does a 30-foot freaking elbow off a hell in a cell. It's going to be freaking badass, man. Can't freaking wait. But regardless, we all know about this fight that is gonna, that's been you know, staged because it's not real. Uh, going on between KSI and Joe Weller. Uh, we don't, I don't even know if this fight's going to really be real. It could be kickboxing. It could be slant. It could be sissy fights. We could be waiting all this time, this pay-per-view level type press conferences, all for it to be a sissy. Wouldn't that be something? For it to be a pillow fight. You get, they get in the ring and then grab some pillows and smack each other real. Oh, oh, I love this. Oh, oh yes. Hard. Okay, this got way more <coughs> sexual than it needed to be. Don't know why it got like that, but, uh. Anyway, Elliot, uh, who is Weller's, one of Joe Weller's closest friends, uh, allegedly sent a text to KSI where he stated how, how he can't wait for him to beat up uh, Joe Weller, which is, uh, which is kind of a dick move. I mean, backstabbing, bro. That's, you know, it, that's going to happen. It's, it's life. You're going to get backstabbed by a friend. This, honestly, this is more staged than a WWE show. This is more staged than Monday Night Raw. Come on now. I mean, this is ha- this has everything you want in a Monday Night Raw match. You got the great story with r- amazing promos between two larger than life characters, and then they have a faction where one of the faction betrays the other one, and then that leads up to the suspense and to the story, and now you're into it because there's backstab, there's betrayal, there's larger than life figures, and now you're into it. And Jesus Christ, man. It's 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 clearly a stage fight. A lot of people are pumped and they think it's real. I, I'm not joking. I have really seen people think this is real. People think this is more real than Jake Paul's online personality. Yes, Jake Paul, the rejected Zach and Cody brother. That's who. That's how people think are a genuinely nice person. And while it's clear, if you seriously, if you really think that, you're below the age of nine years old but regardless this is staged it's 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 formulaic it's fun it's fun to go along with the ride i'm just here to say for some of the people who and i've seen you i've seen you in the comment section don't know why i'm in the comment section i should know exactly what i'm gonna get from looking in the youtube comment section but regardless uh, i actually can't wait to see the end of this because i feel like it's, it's, it's staged very well and it's very interesting I, i'm actually very low i'm loving how this has turned out so far, but for now, we don't know the details and everything, and uh, if it's real or not, which I don't believe it is, I believe it's fake, it's gonna come out with its own debunk video sometime soon, but I can't wait to see how it ends up, because I like wrestling, I I watch professional wrestling, and uh, I like to see it, just because I like to see where it goes in the end, even though it's it's so many theatrics, and it's all crazy, but you're in it for the story, and to see how it ends up. But this is less like a WWE production and more like a TNA production and how it's all staging out. But anyway, guys, that is the first episode of the Tonight Today Show. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like to thank you guys so much for watching the Tonight Today Show. If you did enjoy it or enjoy this first episode, leave a like. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you what what you might want me to see different, man. It's 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 something different. It's a new perspective. You might want to test the water. Just dip your toe in, man. If you don't feel comfortable in your new skin with me alone together, you and me with your earphones in, yes. I know you have earphones in, Dave. I, I know you have your phones in. But regardless, I <laughs> y'all understand. Oh, excuse me. If anybody is wa- is named Dave right now who's watching this video and has earphones in, he is going to assume 
that like, I'm actually talking to him. I hope he's high. Because he's actually going to think, like, I know he's there, and I know you are there, Dave. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And with that being said, that is all that we're going to be talking about on the Tonight Today Show. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.